welcome to another episode of maya tutorial this tutorial is about maya lighting basic basic all lighting basic setup to see the lighting effect of maya first take a polygon plane scale the plane just like this now take a polygon cube scale the cube just like this go to side view vertex mode click on this icon select the upper vertex select move tool move the vertex slightly up just like this now go to object mode move the object up just like this <laughs> now select the polygon plane scale the plane again select the cube press control plus d to duplicate and move the move it slightly back now again press control plus d to duplicate and move it here go to modify center pivot rotate it 90 degree along z axis type 90 on the channel box scale tool scale it just like this move it down turn on wireframe on shaded mode now go to mesh tool insert edge loop option insert one edge loop here and another edge loop here one here and another here now go to modeling toolkit menu sorry open modeling toolkit go to face selection mode select this face shift press shift on your keyboard and select this face this face and also shift select this face now press Ctrl plus E or click on this icon or go to edit mesh, click extrude and move down. Now go to object mode, go to edit, delete by type, delete history, select that table, modify, center pivot. Scale tool, scale it just like this. Now take a polygon cylinder or polygon sphere, move it up just here and scale the sphere just like this now move it here down here again scale press ctrl plus d to duplicate and move it up shift select 
the two sphere press control plus d to duplicate and move it here press shift plus d to duplicate special now first select the sorry select this and rename rename it wall wall 1 first select the wall 1 shift select the sphere go to mesh booleans click difference make like this now go to now select all go to edit delete by type delete history again select the plane press ctrl plus d to duplicate and move it up at the above of the wall one now take a polygon disk scale it just like this and move it here just here move down again scale the polygon disk to make just like this take another polygon sphere scale the sphere to make it just like this move the sphere just here move it here move it up put it at the center of the polygon disk just here <clears throat> again first select the polygon disk and shift select the polygon sphere go to mesh boolean click difference to make just like this now go to edit delete by type delete history move the polygon disk here now go to face selection mode select the lower face of the polygon disk select this just like this press delete again go to object mode move the polygon disk just here move it back to put it here move here rotate the polygon disk minus 90 degree move it back and move up now select all of the object again go to edit delete by type delete history this could be also helpful for interior lighting now go to create light take ambient light move the light up just here ambient light means it will make bright the environment of the object move the light here 
Now press Ctrl plus A to open attribute editor or click on this here attribute editor. Click on this lighting icon. This will activate the light scene. See. Now go to Windows rendering editor render setting. Change render using Arnold renderer to Maya software. Click close. Now go to Windows Rendering Editor, click Render View. Click here. See. Now change the color of the light scene. Make it just like this. Again click Render and see the effect. Change the color to white just previous like this now you can increase the intensity increase the intensity just like this click render and see see the effect this will look more bright bright scene now go down click shadow tab Click use sorry shadow tab. And change the shadow color to just like this. Click render. Sorry, decrease the intensity to 1, click render and see. Click use ray trace shadow and click render and see. Now go down, click object display. There is nothing to change here. Now, this is the effect of ambient light. This will brighten the environment of the object. Now, with selected the ambient light, press Ctrl plus A to hide the light. Again, go to create light take directional light press r to activate scale tool and scale it just like this press e to activate rotate tool and rotate the directional light just like this press w to move the light and put it here press e to activate rotate tool and rotate the light just like this Again click render and see the effect of directional light. Now go to attribute editor and press W to move back the directional light. Move back and up. Click render and see the effect. Again click render and see the effect. Go to attribute editor, increase the intensity, click render and see the effect. See the effect. Now go down, click shadow tab, tab. depth map shadow attribute, click use depth map shadow. Again click render and see. See the shadow effect of the scene. The shadow is showing here. Click minimize. Now move the directional light. 
here again click render see the shadow use ray trace shadow again click render and see the effect see the ray trace shadow effect with selected of the directional light you can change the color of the light see change the color i make it red click render and see click use depth shadow map see the effect now with selected of the shadow light change the color to back white now click render and see now select the directional light press control plus a to hide the directional light again go to create light take point light press r to activate rotate tool and scale the point light just like this press w to move the point light here point light is as same the ambient light click render and see the effect see the effect of the point light now click shadow tab click use depth map shadow again render and see the effect the point light is as same as the ambient light the amb but the ambient light has no shadow effect depth map shadow effect see change the shadow color to just like this click render and see see the effect again change the shadow color to black just previous click render and see now go to now select the point light press control plus a to hide the light again go to create light take spotlight press r to activate rotate tool scale the sorry activate scale tool press w to move the spotlight just like here now press e to activate rotate tool and rotate the spotlight just like this rotate it press w to move it back again press e to activate rotate tool and rotate the light just like here click render and see the effect now go to shadow tab click use depth map shadow render and see the shadow effect see the effect now go to arnold tab for the region of the maya 2020 arnold see here bunch of option change the exposure to 10 or 13 now go to light intensity increase the intensity just like this click render and see the effect there is no sense in here but go to arnold tab click render and see the arnold option sense effect see the effect this will look like this interesting effect sorry this will show this interesting effect 
see the effect close the arnold render tab now untick the depth map shadow click render and see the effect now press ctrl plus a is to hide the spotlight again go to create light take area light press r to scale the area light just like this press e to rotate the area light just like this press w to activate move tool and move it here click render and see the effect of the area light see the effect move it up again render and see change the intensity to about 5 click render and see the effect see now go to shadow tab click use depth map shadow click render and see see the effect again click render and see now you can change the color of the shadow and the change the color of the light as previous shown for the other or the rest of the light effect now press ctrl plus a is to hide the area light now go to create light this is the last light of the maya autodex maya click volume light press r to activate rotate tool sorry activate scale tool scale the scale the volume light press w to move it move it up just like this click render and see the effect of the volume light see the effect of the volume light now increase the inten intensity again click render and see now go down click shadow click use depth map shadow click render and see the effect click see the effect again press r to sorry scale the volume light click render and see see the effect this is the scaling effect of the volume light you can change the color of the shadow change the color of the shadow click here click render and see the effect the shadow color is changing color range color this is the basic lighting effect or basic lighting learning of the autodex maya thanks for watching please subscribe like comment and share my video and don't forget to click the bell icon